way, Steve, I mean, at this point, it's almost becoming overkill asking you about Steph, but, you know, he's continuing to just break records, you know, leave people with their jaws wide open. What can you say about how he played again tonight and just what he's been doing, kind of willing your team along with, you know, others, obviously, to uh, play so well over the last, you know, five, six games? I, I don't know what else to say, you know. And you guys um, ask ask me after every game what I think of, of Steph and his performance. And it's whatever I said last game, just use that tonight. Because it's the same thing after every game. It's just utter amazement at this guy's skill level, heart, mind, focus. Um, it's uh, just amazing to watch. And how big was this win tonight? And you just – the way you guys have been playing as of late and how you're trending towards this stretch run of the season. Yeah. I mean, we need every, every win we can get, you know, and um, we've been playing well, really well now for the last couple of weeks. And uh, so we're in a good group. They, they, there's a really good spirit and energy with the team right now. I think the guys feel it and um, we're getting great contributions up and down the roster. I thought Loon Loon tonight was kind of the unsung hero, obviously the, story was was Steph but you know and, and I always know that Draymond is going to defend like a demon the entire game which he did but you know Looney guarding Embiid uh, for most of his 33 minutes at 15 boards uh, countless uh, wonderful defensive rotations and uh, challenges you know without fouling I thought Looney was was tremendous. You're obviously living in, in the moment with, with this Steph stretch, but do you think at all about just the historical nature of what he's doing just statistically right now from three and, and just in general? Yeah, Raymond Raymond keeps me up to date on all that stuff. So uh, I understand that's, uh, you know, 21 career games with 10 or more threes. Um, and Clay is second with five. And Steph's had four in the last five nights. So – Mind-boggling, mind-boggling stuff. Have you ever seen a performance like the, the, the stretch of games that Steph is on right now? Not from a shooting standpoint. You know, I, I've seen uh, I, I've, I've seen Kobe Bryant, um, you know, early in his career had a, a stretch where he went nuts. And obviously Michael Jordan had some stretches where he just, uh, you know, scored like crazy. But But obviously nobody's ever – shot the ball like this in the history of the game and um, even by Steph's own lofty standards uh, this is uh, above and beyond. Steve are you approaching this like a no hitter I mean what do you even say to him at this point? Uh, nice shot. <laughs> You mentioned um, Kavon Looney and Draymond Green. And how encouraging is it to see when you have such a limited amount of bigs do this against one of the best centers in the league? Does it kind of make you not relax against other teams, but just reassure you even more that you can get it done with just two bigs right now? Yeah, I mean, that, that's, um, you know, the, the biggest thing with Loon is that he's healthy. You know, he, this is a guy who has – helped us win playoff games and finals games. So we knew what we had in Loon. Uh, we just didn't know if he could stay healthy. You know, last year was a really tough year for him. So it's so great, you know, amidst all these uh, crazy injuries we've had over the last three years, to see Kavon healthy and flying the way he is, is, um, is just awesome. And then Draymond is Draymond. He's one of the great defenders in the history of the game. I think he's the best defender in the game today because of, what you have to do um, as a big these days, guarding pick and roll, switching onto the perimeter, protecting the rim, helping. Draymond is incredible. So those two guys are holding it down for us right now. What's it been like to, to have the fans back in the arena as you've been on the road lately? It's huge. There's just a different energy um, in the building. And it's so nice. And it's a reminder that, you know, we're, we're slowly but surely getting through this pandemic, but it's, um, it's wonderful to hear the hear the fans and, and you know hear the oohs and the ahs when Steph's making a shot or you know the cheers for for the Sixers when they're doing something and it's just this is how it's supposed to be. So I really look forward to when everybody's back. 
How do you think you, you see the Sixers going forward the rest of the season after playing them twice? Sixers? Yes. I, I really like their chances. They were obviously severely shorthanded tonight without Ben and, uh, and uh, Harris. So that's not a, you know, that's, that wasn't their, their team. They were shorthanded. And uh, if they're healthy, uh, they're really good. They're a great two-way team. They're one of the best defensive teams in the league. And they cause a, cause a lot of problems offensively too. So a hell of a team. Steve, how do you feel as the coach when you see a defense that's deciding not to double Steph? Well, it's, uh, you know, it's just, it's easier said than done, uh, Marcus. And I, I just, you know, when you commit two to, to the ball uh, against Steph, you have to do it at half court. Um, so it's not like, you know, any other traditional superstar that you've got to, you know, send two maybe at the three point line or at the elbow and you can pull your defense in. If you're going to send two to Steph, you have to send two to half court. And then it's, these are NBA players, you know, four on three is pretty easy. So having said that, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody does that soon. How did you like the element of Kelly uh, off the bench tonight and how he contributed? I thought Kelly was great. He stayed ready. Um, you know, he brought, brought energy. He, uh, used his athleticism and his length, made some good defensive plays. And uh, he was good, you know, especially for having missed the last uh, couple of weeks. So good for him to get his legs back. Steve, yeah. you've seen different players in different sports sort of run, run rough shot over their sports. I mean, Tiger in golf for a while, you know, Usain Bolt and Trek. But what Steph is doing as coach, you're watching this in live action. Have you seen anything like that, even in any sport where somebody is just making – a mockery of the opponent at times. Um, boy, yeah, Michael Jordan. <laughs> In the last 20 years, anybody? Okay. Uh, <laughs> since MJ, probably not. Not like this. Steve, do you – Go ahead, Melissa. Oh, thank you. Do you even bother giving Steph the game ball anymore? Uh, no. I mean, I, I, gave it, I gave him the game ball after he broke Wilt's uh, scoring record, um, but uh, I haven't given him any the last couple games, so uh, I don't know. Maybe I maybe I should <laughs> keep, just keep handing him the ball after every game. Steph, uh, Steph was you know obviously he's coming in with with the ankle injury and also like his first quarter, I think first six minutes misses a few threes. I think he had three or four turnovers. Are you sitting there thinking like ah this might be an off night? at all uh, in a moment like that? No, no, I've learned, I've learned better than that. Um, you know, Steph, um, I remember maybe four or five years ago, he had a playoff game in, in Portland and I've told this story a few times, but he, he was 0 for 10. He had been out with injury for a couple of weeks, maybe a few weeks. And um, he was 0 for 10 in the game and, and he hit his 11th shot. So he's now one for 11 and he shimmied shimmied at, you know at half court after making the shot and I was laughing because I, as I told him afterwards who shimmies when you're one for 11 well Steph Steph did. and then you guys probably remember that game I think he had 20 in overtime um, so that's the, the thing with Steph the, the confidence is so deep that um, all it takes is one shot and he he feels like he's on fire Steve, a great road victory. Uh, Steph was able to perform again, and uh, even in front of his little brother. Can you talk a little bit about that aspect of it? Well, it's always fun to, to see those guys playing against each other, and, and Seth had a, had a great first half and was really uh, really cooking there for a while, and uh, I'm sure it was really, really fun for the family to watch. And, and Damian Lee had a good game, too. So, uh, you know, a lot of, lot of good, uh, good uh, family stuff tonight for – for the Currys and the Lees. Hey, Coach. Uh, this is Davide from Italy. Um, going back to Steph, do you think this is the best version of him we have seen so far, compared even to 2016? It's, it's hard to say that just because he's always been um, so amazing. But, uh, you know, he's he's never played any better, that's for sure. You know, it's just incredible to watch.